so welcome to make engineering card in this video series we are going to be, we are going to create a center tunnel so this first part we are going to create the shaft so let's start so first open a new file new part okay So go to top plane, sketch, select a line. So we try to bring out the geometry of the shaft. Okay, so now we can dimension. So the overall length of the shaft is 1340mm. So since we are going to, since we are going to use the revolve boss feature to create the shaft, we are not going to use the diameter, we are going to use half the diameter. So I'm going to say 125. 25 is the right diameter, but we have to use half of it, so I'm going to divide it by 2. That will give us the half. So, half is 62.5. So, same goes for this other side 62.5. Okay. 50 length. Diameter is 130, so. Half is 65. Length 280. Okay. Same here. 65. Length 50. Length here 280. Uh, diameter here is 135. So 135 divided by 2. I'll give her the half. Okay. So I want to go ahead and add. A thread we leave here. So the depth of the thread we leave will be the depth that the cutting to is going to the cutting to we cut. So the depth so the depth is uh, Two point four nine millimeter. The width should be five millimeter. So we can go ahead and turn this. Okay. Repeat the same. The other side of the shaft. My dimension depth two point four nine width of third relief should be five. Okay, turn turning this, yes, okay. So we can go ahead now and Revolve boss. So as is a rotation, we select this line. Yeah. Okay. So we have our shaft ready and 
Excuse me, I, just, I want to confirm something here. Let's switch. Alright, all is well. All is well. So, I want to add centers. Center for machining. So go ahead, drop a point there. Okay, edit the sketch. So we are going to use old wizard. So select hole, size of hole, ten millimeter diameter is okay. Depth of hole, ten millimeter also okay. So position now. 3D sketch. So the point will add a cylinder point. Okay. So you can see we have a center there. You can add this center point we included there before. So now I also want to include the center on the other end of the shaft. So I'm going to use the mirror. Instead of repeating the same process, you can just mirror that feature to the way. So, plane, right plane, select right plane, sorry, please. Feature to mirror, you select this. So, you can see a preview there. to happen. Edit sketch please. No more two. So click this line and this is the center of this line. Yep. And select this. So we make coincident. Okay, that should solve the issue we're having. So, if we go ahead and uh, we do our mirror for the center, it should work well now. So, select right plane, select center, okay. You see, now we have our center here that was mirrored from this side. So, let's go ahead and do some chamfer for the threads. So, select chamfer from this drop down chamfer. So, select this 3mm, okay. So we don't select this face, so we select the edge, the edge. So let's go ahead and uh, add and cut our thread on the shaft. So so let's select a plane perpendicular to the shaft. So selecting top plane, sketch. So normal to. Select a line for construction.
working. So I'm trying to double the triangular shape of the cutting tool. This shouldn't but this should not be a construction line. Neither should this be a construction line. Okay. No smart dimension. This should be one point eight. And the uh, height should be 2.49. Okay. Now I want to make this full linear to this surface. Full linear. Let's delete this coincident. Okay, yeah. does that's a the problem there. So select this and light this geometry. This mirror entity. Mirror about this. Okay. So we've created our cutting to profile now to create the path that the cutting tool will follow so select this face sketch select this edge convert entity so go to features curves helix and spiral so the page of the thread is four millimeter page Start angle zero clockwise because it, 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 it's a right thread, not a left thread. Height 47. The height should be 50, but I made it 47 so it does not cut some part of this. Okay, so I okay. So after that, select hold control, select sketch and Select helix and spiral. Select strip cut. I see a preview of how it will cut. Okay. So hide helix and spiral sketch. So you can see our thread. So we want to create the same thread on the opposite side. So we just use mirror command also. Mirror. Face mirror face slash plane select right plane. Feature to mirror cut sweep one. Okay. I'll see preview of it there. Okay. Okay, so we have our thread also. So let's specify material. 
plain carbon steel okay so I think we are really sharp so let's save this save save our sharp Okay, so thanks for spending your valuable time watching this channel. Please like and subscribe. This will be the end of this part.